The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Look at that face, just look at it. Look at that fabulous face of yours. My new first look, I took at it. This is a face that the world adores. Look at those eyes, as cheery and bright as can be. Look at that nose, it glows for us all to see. As for your smile, it's lyrical, friendly and warm as a Christmas day. Every girl, every boy sees the meaning of joy in that certainly bring you all those things. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. What, what are you doing here? I'm leaving you, Harold. I'm fed up. I have had it. Well, what's wrong now? I can't stand that crummy apartment anymore. I want some decent furniture. I want a color television and a stereo. And I want some decent clothes so we can go to fancy places. And I want a new car to go there in. And I want a fur coat so I won't get cold. Who do you think I am, Santa Claus? <laughs> Christmas. What a Christmas. I have been to Australia, Africa, Asia. Honey, I've traveled 30,000 miles without a stop and pooped. Well, did you leave the sleigh out, honey? Why? Because we need a bottle of milk for in the morning. <laughs> some shopping Christmas Day, and I ran into a department store that had a real Santa... Well, this Santa Claus was real... He was a real playful guy, you know? You should have seen him throwing my 12-year-old up in the air. Lucky he didn't spill any of it. <laughs> and boy, was that store crowded. I, I scratched my back, and two women slapped me. Now I... <laughs> a little light on the snow, you... Yeah, I was in... <laughs> I was in the toy department, and I tell you, the dolls they're making these days are almost human. The salesman showed me a doll that can brush its hair, brush its teeth, wash its face, and it walks and talks, and it wets. And I said, hey there, how much is it? And he said, oh, you can't buy it. You have to adopt it. The Dean Martin Christmas Show. Snow comes to cover the ground. What 
to come. It's a time to play. It's a whipped cream day. I wait for it the whole year round. Although the marshmallow clouds be friendly in the arms of the evergreen tree. And the sun is red like a pumpkin head. It shines so your nose won't freeze. All the world is your snowball. See how it grows. See how it goes. Whenever it snows, the world is your snowball. Just for a song. Yeah, roll it on. Sugar day, what if spring is late? It's winter, the marshmallow world. A move it. I think you're right. The winter, when the snow comes to cover the ground. It's time for play. It's a wet green day. I wait for it the whole year round. Those are marshmallow clouds, they are friendly. In the arms of the evergreen tree. The sun is red like a pumpkin head. It's shining so your nose won't freeze. All oh, the world is your snowball. See how it grows. See how it goes. Whenever it snows, world is your snowball. Just for the sun. Get up, move it along. Hey, in the yummy, yummy world, maybe sweetheart, you take a walk with your favorite girl. It's a sugar date. What if spring is late? It's winter, it's a marshmallow. Good cheer. I'll bet there's tinsel hanging from his tonsils. <laughs> hey, come on. Ah, uh, with me now. We're gonna <clears throat> meet my pal Bob Newhart at this department store. He, he's gonna be playing the part of a guy, and there's no music here. He's gonna be the part of. He's gonna be playing the part of a guy in a rather embarrassing position of returning a toupee that his wife had bought him. I'm gonna be the clerk and. Wait, here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Moore. Is this the... Is this the uh, uh, complaint department? <clears throat> yes, sir. This is the complaint department. May I, may I help him? You, uh, you have a... You have a private room of some kind I'd like to uh, discuss uh, re returning a gift. Is it underwear, sir? It isn't underwear or anything like that. So, see, my wife, uh, my wife bought me a toupee, and, and she gave it to me early so that I could wear it to, to some of the uh, Christmas parties. And I, I'd like, sorry, I'd like, to, I'd like to return it. Oh, well... Uh... Do you have it with you, sir? It's under the, the hat. Well, what model is it? I don't, I don't know what uh, model it is. The, uh, the crew cut with the widow's peak. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be our Mr. Wonderful model. Yes. yes. I, I don't know what you people call it. I'd, I'd like, to, <clears throat> like to return it. Mm, well, you'll have to show me the merchandise to, to be returned, you know, if you want to show it to me. Well, I'll, I'll show it to you in a minute. There's some people coming. Just uh, <laughs> don't, don't stare at me. Just uh... <laughs> right, right. Yeah, there, there it well, is. Uh, the problem is, uh, when people pass me on the street and they start laughing, you know, I notice lately they started laughing. Well, it, it certainly makes you look years younger. Yeah, well, it may, may make me look years younger, but the <coughs> people still laugh, you know. Well, what, what seems to be the main complaint? Well, the, the main problem is, uh, we went to this Christmas party and I, uh, I went down to put some uh, cheese dip on a cracker and a... 
toupee went into the cheese dip. And, <laughs> and every, everybody quit having cheese dip. And, uh, <clears throat> and the hostess started crying, and only spent a couple hours trying to uh, fish it out of the cheese dip. <laughs> and I, uh, well, this may be funny to you, sir. I, uh, you had to be there. I took it home and I put it in the, the washer dryer, you know. We got the cheese dip off it. And we had, uh, we won those with the windows in them. You know those kind? <laughs> now, there's another problem. See, the kids, they like to sit and watch it now. <clears throat> They're mad at me because I'm returning it, you know. Oh, well, you, you, wanna, you want the full exchange on that? No, I don't, I don't want the full exchange. Uh, I'd like to get a real cheap one just to stick in the washer dryer for the... <laughs> Did your wife tell her she was getting it for you? No, uh, I didn't know she was getting Well, you know, looking back, uh, she came in one morning and uh, with this piece of paper, and um, she had me put my head on the piece of paper. <laughs> you, can get, you can get the wrong size, you know, if you don't put your head on the piece of paper. <clears throat> I mean, it's embarrassing. It fits me, but it's embarrassing enough. But if I got one that didn't fit me, I'd be... Uh, she never told me why she traced it on the paper. <laughs> And the reason you wanted to return it, the... Well, the, ma the main reason is that, you know, it, it, do it doesn't do what, uh, what you, you people say it's gonna do. Well, it does make you look younger. No, you keep, you keep saying that. It, it makes me look years younger, but I still would like to return it. Uh? I, I st still... <laughs> still... Still like to return it. Well, that particular model is, is guaranteed to stay on in a hurricane. <laughs> Excuse me. I know, I know it uh, to stay on a hurricane, but um, see, we're, we're from Iowa, and we, we really, we don't get that many hurricanes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want it to stay on mainly when I got off of the cheese dip. That, that's what I'm... Just, but do you still have the, the, the price tag? You'd, you'd, need, you'd need the price tag. Again. Oh, certainly. Can I, I use the phone? Why, well, yes. Uh, honey, yeah, listen, you want to call the Hennessy's? Yeah, and ask them to look in the bottom of the cheese dip bowl, see if there's a... <laughs> hey! It's a long hay you got there. My, my wonderful... <laughs> one whole blank page for hay. My wonderful... Uh, girls, the gold diggers, you know, they're here tonight. They were on my Thanksgiving show. That's because they make any holiday a special occasion. As a matter of fact, I'm going to think up a few more holidays so I can have them around more often. Ladies and gentlemen, the talented and beautiful gold diggers. <laughs>
parking problem gets worse and worse, and if it's tough for you and me, can you imagine what it's like for Santa Claus? Here to give you an idea of what Santa may be going through this very moment is a very good friend, the wonderful Mr. Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Hey, fella, don't you read English? You can't park over here. This is a towaway zone. Move it out of here. Huh? Yeah, ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you, too. Now move it. I don't care what you got to deliver. You take those funny-looking horses out of here, I'm going to give you a ticket. <laughs> Who? Their names are Donna, Blitzen, and I don't care if it's Bonnie and Clyde. You got to get them out of here. Okay, fella. What is your name? St. Nicholas? Come on. Now, don't waste my time. It's cold. What's your real name? Chris Kringle? <laughs> don't feel bad. After Spear of Wagner, anything goes. <laughs> Look, buddy, what is your business? Spreading Christmas cheer. Have you got a license to peddle booze? <laughs> No license, huh? Okay. What's in that big bag? I said, open that bag. Open that big white... Colored television set. Tape recorders. Transistor radios. Where'd you get this stuff? What? They were made for you by a bunch of elves? Suspicion of burglary. All right, you're coming down to the police station with me. What? what? What do you mean, a Christmas present for me? What? What's a Christmas present for me? I, I throw the book at you and then you give me a Christmas present? Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Jesus, it's a gold fountain pen. It's just what I always wanted, you know? Hey, uh, hey, mister, with the beard, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this beautiful pen and I'm gonna cross out all these petty little charges that I have down here, crossing them all out. And instead, I'm gonna write down one thing, attempted bribery. <laughs> It's great to see you. How you been? Uh, not too bad, old buddy. And uh, you? Uh, I get by. Mm. Hey, <laughs> you're looking just great. Hey, you're, a, you're a sight for sore eyes yourself. Well, <laughs> hey, it's that time of year again, you know? Yeah, we've been meeting like this for a lot of Christmases. You know something? Mm? Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without you, Louie. <laughs> well, shall we uh, change gifts? Okay, let's exchange gifts. Merry Christmas, Louis. Merry Christmas. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Ken Lane here. My biggest problem is what to get him 
for Christmas. Ken has arthritis, bursitis, rheumatism, sinus. What do you get for a guy who's got everything? I think I'll sing a Christmas song. Let's see. What do I know? What do I know? Oh, how about the... Tra la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 I don't know the lyrics either. But where does it say you sing like that? That's $500. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to kiss and neck with Doris Day. <laughs> Laugh, all right, but don't sing. Remember the famous words of Mrs. Santa Claus, who once said to Santa, go to heavens where you've been. That, those reindeers have been here three days already. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. It's pretty crowded in that closet with all those empties. Hmm. Good to see you. It's good to see you. And I like the color of your nose. I'd like you to lead my sleigh tonight. Thank you. Mr. Robert Hall. Have a big one. I will. Where do I go? Back, back. Not much of a part tonight. I'm always available. This is the time of the year for parties. And you can always count on the gang at the office to get together long about now for their... Christmas bash. And here's Dom Dalloway's at the office party. Ha, ha, ha. 
These children belong to the people who work on uh, my show. Mm, thank you, sweetheart. And they're just like mm, family to me, so I invited them here to share a little Christmas fun with me and my guests. <laughs> now I'm going to ask some questions. <laughs> You're all right, kiddo. <laughs> you, have you got a favorite singer? for Christmas, hmm? Yeah. Oh, one of ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can drop it now, Harry. <laughs> uh, uh, do you know who I am? Who? Oh. Dean Martin? I'm glad I found that out. <laughs> well, I want to talk to you kids some more, but right now, I've got um, a real surprise for you, because you're going to be entertained by my next guest, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the nice man from Gentle Ben, Mr. Dennis Weaver. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Huh? Well, I know one thing, you're beautiful. You know what I'd like to do for you? I'd like to sing you a little song, but you know something? I'm gonna need your help. Because I just, yes, I'm going to need your help. Because I just. Every song is saying we're going to need your help. Right, right. Because I'm telling you, I don't think that I can get through this by myself. So, first it's the tambourines, right? Right. And next right. it's. it's no, the, 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 what? The whistles. The whistles, right. The whistles. And then the tambourines. I thought I'd fool you. I didn't. And then the horns, right? The horns. So when I point to you, that's when you all got to jump in and help me. Then you help me, right? When I point to you. You got it? Okay, here we go. When I was just a little lad, full of health 
and joy. My father came home late one night and gave to me a toy. A wonder to behold it was with many colors bright. And the moment I laid eyes on it, it became my heart's delight. It went. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. The first time that I picked it up, I had a big surprise. For right on the bottom were two big buttons that looked like two green eyes. I first pushed one and then the other and then I pushed the lid And when I sat it down again, this is what it did It went <laughs> I never just what it was I guess I never will It first marched left and then marched right and then marched under a chair and when I looked where it was gone, it wasn't even there. I started to sob, my daddy laughed, for he knew what I would find. When I turned around, my marvelous toy was chugging from behind. It went... <laughs> I never knew just what it was, and yes, I never knew. Gone by too fast it seems And I have my own little boy And yesterday I gave to him My marvelous little toy His eyes nearly popped right out of his head And he gave a squeal of glee Neither one of us knows just what it is But he loves it just like me It went <laughs> I never know just what it was And I guess I never will I never knew just what it was And I guess I never will Oh, darling Oh, come on Oh, yeah Thank you for coming by and entertaining the kids here. Yeah, I get a lot of practice at this, Dean. I got a bunch of them at home myself. Yeah, well, you know, not to mention a 650-pound bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he must be hard to handle. No, not really. Whatever he wants, I do. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, while we're all here, why don't uh, you join me with Ken Lane and we'll sing some Christmas music. Huh? Then wait. Come on.
toy train Peppermint canes Christmas is for kids Christmas is for kids New skates Almonds and days Christmas is for kids Christmas is for kids Snowflakes Puddings and cakes Warm hearts Cinnamon ties Look around my friend And you Christmas is for kids Christmas is for kids Christmas is for kids Like you Yeah, Christmas is really for the kids. And one of the nice things about our Christmas shows in the past few years was that we sent carloads of toys to youngsters in children's hospitals and orphanages all over the country. Well, this year, the very generous people who made these toys are donating $100,000 worth of toys, and that's going to fill a lot of stockings. So I've asked some of my friends to help me play Santa Claus. And I'd like to start by telling all you kids at the St. John's Hospital in Steubenville, Ohio, where I was born, to keep a sharp eye out for Santa, because he's on his way with lots of gifts for you. St. Nick told me that he was on his way to the Mexico Children's Home in San Antonio, Texas. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is going to be happy to make a stop at the Hartford Hospital Pediatrics Ward in Hartford, Connecticut. And you kids at the uh, New England Home for Little Wanderers will be happy to know that Santa Claus got all your letters and he's on his way with some shiny new toys. And to the children of the Dornbecker Memorial Hospital in Portland, we're sending a bag full of toys and games that you'll all love. Dancer, Prancer and Blitzen will be parking outside Casa de la Esperanza, House of Hope, in Tijuana, Mexico, with lots of goodies for all the children. Well, Dean, I hope the boys and girls at the Children's Hospital of Michigan in Detroit are watching because Santa Claus is going to be good to all of you. And Santa's been working nights to get his delivery ready for you children at St. Vincent's Orphanage in Chicago, Illinois. And you children at the Hillcrest Center for Children in Bedford Hills, New York, will be real happy to know Santa had to hire some extra reindeer to make a delivery at your place on Christmas Eve. And it's going to be a real Merry Christmas for you children at the Angel's Haven in Glen Burnie, Maryland. And all of you at the Immaculate Heart of Mary Children's Home in Buffalo, make sure that you keep the front walk all shoveled off because Santa's planning on dropping in there too. And things are really humming, Dean, at Santa's workshop so he can deliver some real fun toys to you children at the Gila Indian Reservation at Levine, Arizona. We're also sending lots of fine toys to the Holly Hill Children's Home in Cold Springs, Kentucky, so you can have yourself a merry little Christmas. You know, at St. Vincent's Orphanage in Columbus, Ohio, a lot of eyes will light up brighter than Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's red nose when they see what Santa's got in store for. Santa plans on making a trip to the children's convalescent home in Washington, D.C. And Santa's helpers advise us that he'll be heading across the Pacific with some goodies for all youngsters at the Children's Hospital for crippled children in Honolulu, Hawaii. You children at the Lifeline Home, Kansas City, Kansas, you're going to find lots of wonderful toys under your Christmas tree. It's going to be a real happy Yuletide for you children at the Barium Springs Orphanage in Statesville, North Carolina. I want you kids to know that neither rain, sleet, or snow is going to stop Santa from visiting children at the Children's Hospital of the District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. And if you children at the Edgewood Orphanage in San Francisco hear footsteps on your roof on Christmas Eve, It'll be Santa with lots of goodies for you. And on his way down from the North Pole, Santa's making a special stop at the Jesse Lee Home in Anchorage, Alaska. And you children at the Protestant Children's Home in New Orleans, Louisiana, will be happy to know that Santa got all your letters and he's got some nice surprises for you. You children at the General Children's Home in Indianapolis, Indiana, leave out the welcome mat on Christmas Eve because Santa's going to drop by. 
All of you uh, children at the Clyburn Home for Children in Baltimore, Maryland, will be happy to know we spotted Santa and his reindeer speeding along the Milky Way, and they're headed in your direction. I'll be loaning my hat to Santa to fill with toys for all the youngsters at the Southern Christian Home in Atlanta, Georgia. I have been real busy all this week rounding up Santa's reindeer so he can visit all you children at Children's Orthopedic Hospital up there in Seattle, Washington. And there are lots of fine toys on the way to you children at Terman Avenue Home for Children in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it's going to be jingle bells for all of you at the Kendall Children's Home in Miami. Santa's going to be making a stop at the Boys' Home of the South in Greenville, South Carolina. Be sure to make lots of room under the Christmas tree at the Windacres Orphanage in Cincinnati. My good friend Barney Fife from Mayberry told me he's given a police escort to Santa, so he'll be sure and get to the Ethel Harpst home for children in Cedartown, Georgia. Santa's going to be making a visit to the Methodist Children's Home in Worthington, Ohio. Santa Claus will also be making stops on the roofs at the Abbott House, Irvington on the Hudson. And all you kids at St. Joseph Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona, be sure to clean out the chimney, because Santa's going to drop in on you, too. You youngsters at the St. Agatha home in Nanuit, New York, will be very happy to know that Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus have included all your names on their gift list. Now you children at the St. Mary Villa in Nashville, Tennessee, be sure and leave a light in your front window because a nice man in a red suit and a white beard is gonna be looking for your place. I wish I could see the smiles on the faces of you kids in Seattle at the Children's Home Society of Washington when you open your presents on Christmas morning. Even Scrooge is working overtime this Christmas to send lots of wonderful toys to you children at the Memorial Hospital for Cancer, Children's Ward in New York City. And I hope you children at the Madonna Manor in Marrero, Louisiana have an extra large chimney so that Santa can climb down with all the fine toys he'll be bringing you. I just checked Santa's itinerary, and you children of the City of Hope Medical Center in Duarte, California, are going to have a most welcome visitor on Christmas Eve. Well, I want to thank all of my friends for dropping by and helping me make a lot of kids happy. Now, you have a happy holiday, and from all of us to you and your loved ones, a merry, merry Christmas. We wish you.